Hello students, today we are going to begin our third poem that is the Lebanum Talk. It is composed by Ted Hughes and before proceeding the poem, I would like to reflect the life of Ted Hughes. So here we'll have a little description about our, our poet that is Edward James Hughes. He was an English poet and children's writer known as Ted Hughes. He was born on 17th August 1930 and was set to demise on 28th of October 1998. Critic routi critics routinely rank him as one of the best poets of his generation. He was poet laureate from 1984 until his death and he was married to Sylvia Plath who committed suicide in 1963 at the age of 30. So, here now I would like to discuss about the two terms which has been used in our poem. First is Lebonum tree. So, this is a short tree with hanging branches, yellow flowers and poisonous seeds. Now, next term is goldfinch which is a small singing bird with yellow feathers on its wings. So, next I would like to proceed with the theme of the poem that is the first three lines of the poem impress upon the reader the stillness of the Lebonum tree in which a small goldfinch comes and the tree bursts with movement and sound. So, if we move to another lines, we will find out that the bird's family lodges in the thickness of the tree, the goldfinch enters and the tree tree's thickness to feed uh, her young ones and flies away. So, this is all about the theme of the poem and now I would like to give you an introduction of the poem. That is the poem is a beautiful uh, poem which uh, like composed by Ted Hughes and in this poem he has used the laburnum tree and goldfinches as the symbol of life and its fluctuation. He describes the visiting of goldfinches on the laburnum tree and how she has made a nest on it when the goldfinch have chicks it brings alive the tree as the chicks start to wrestle and chirp, Hughes is trying to convey the message that life is a process of exchange and transformation. People are alive because they undergo exchange of energy. The goldfinch transform the tree and make it alive. Without the goldfinch and the chicks, the laburnum tree is just another tree. So, if we go through, we will find out how a sudden change take place in the laburnum tree after the arrival of goldfinch. Now explanation of the poem in the next session. Hope you understood till here. Thank you.